To the question, who is the king of the jungle, many people will answer without hesitation, the lion. But is it really so? Maybe the real king is a hyena, or rather, the queen. Let's take a look at this menace of Africa in action. Now you see a hyena and a lioness both hunting the same buffalo, competing with each other. From the outside, it may seem that the lioness is much stronger than the hyena and can easily deal with it, and therefore it has nothing to fear except the buffalo itself. The big cat's the first to make a move, pouncing on the buffalo. It easily knocks it down and begins to gnaw at the buffalo, squinting at the hyena. Did you notice that? The lioness can't eat quietly while the hyena is around, as if the hyena could pounce at any moment, though it's much smaller and weaker. And the hyena doesn't go anywhere and doesn't think the fight's lost. The lioness is confused by this, and it doesn't proceed with its meal. Eventually, it just walks away. But the hyena doesn't approach the body either for fear of provoking the lioness. But why does the big cat retreat? Because where there's one hyena, there are others, and always so. The lioness knows this well, and it understands that it can't deal with them itself, so it retreats, and when the lioness leaves, the hyena quietly takes all the meat. But what happens when not just one hyena comes, but the whole clan? 